Hello, my name is Donna Edwards and welcome to Addiction Counselor CEU. Today we're going to be discussing disorders of trauma and stress. Experiencing stress. Whenever we are faced with demands or opportunities that require change, we typically feel some degree of stress. State of stress. There's two components. The stressor, which is the events that creates demands, an example of everyday experiences, the turning point events, long-term problems, and the traumatic events. Then there's the stress response, a person's reaction to these demands. Experiencing stress. Our response to stressors is influenced by the way we judge both the events themselves and our capacity to react appropriately. Example given, when you feel you have adequate resources to cope, you will likely respond in an, in an effective way. And when we view a stressor as threatening, a natural reaction is arousal and a fear response in combination of physical, emotional, and cognitive. The physical response can include muscle tension, fast heart rate, perspiration, and etc. An emotional response can include horror, dread, panic, and a cognitive response is the lack of ability to concentrate distorted view of reality. Stress and mental health. When does stress become a mental health issue? Features of stress become severe, debilitating, last for a long period of time, and interfere with normal functioning pattern of symptoms that are reactions to a psychologically traumatic event, exposure to actual or threatens death, serious injury, or sexual violation. Stress and mental health. In the DSM-5, the psychological stress disorders, Acute stress disorders begin within four weeks of the traumatic event and last less than a month. Post-traumatic stress disorder, our symptoms continue longer than a month, may begin shortly after the traumatic event or months, years later. Symptoms of both are almost identical, only differ in onset and duration. Psychological stress disorder symptom is re-experiencing the traumatic event, reoccurring thoughts, memories, dreams, or nightmares. For some, includes vivid flashbacks. The avoidance, avoid activities, conversations, thoughts that remind them of the traumatic event. Psychological stress disorder symptoms reduce responsiveness, feelings of detachment from others, feel at a daze, trouble remembering things, or a sense of derealization. They feel that the environment is unreal or strange. Increased arousal, negative emotions, and guilt. Feel overly alert, be easily startled, troubled in concentration develop sleep problems, may display anger, anxiety, depression, and may feel guilt for being a survivor. Which events can trigger a psychological stress disorder? There's combat. Nearly 20% of Americans deployed to wars in Afghanistan and Iraq show symptoms of PTSD. Disasters natural earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, accidental fires, airplane crashes, serious car accidents, and victimization, sexual assault and rape, terrorism, or torture. 
Why do people develop a psychological stress disorder? Biological and genetic factors abnormal activity of the hormone cortisol and the NT hormone nutpiforfin. Abnormal activity in the hypo hypocampus may produce intrusive memories and constant arousal and the agdemola may produce repeated emotional symptoms, possibly of heritability for unusual strong biochemical reactions to stress personality high levels of anxiety prior to traumatic events perceived lack of controllability of environment treating psychological stress disorders basic goals of treatment to help survivors and their stress reactions gain perspective on their experience and return to constructive living treatments for combat veterans drug therapy anti-anxiety to reduce tension antidepressants to reduce panic attacks nightmares flashbacks feelings of depression behavioral exposure techniques including flooding family therapy and group therapy why do people develop a psychological stress disorder childhood experiences history of childhood poverty experience of assault abuse or catastrophe social support weak family and social support systems multicultural factors Hispanic Americans have greater vulnerability than other groups tend to view events as inevitable, unalterable, which heightens risk and severity of trauma. Research suggests that exposure treatments may be single, the single most intervention for sufferers of PTSD. In addition to drug therapy and exposure techniques, veterans must work with clinicians to express feelings, accept their experiences, and learn to trust others again.